In hepatopulmonary syndrome, the main problem is this, that due to a faulty liver, the gaseous exchange in the lungs gets impaired. Now, how this happens? Similarly, like the theme of the hepatorenal syndrome, here also due to liver dysfunction, certain chemical substances are there, their level increases in the pulmonary circulation. These are chemicals are mostly vasodilators. As a result of this, due to the presence of these vasodilators, the pulmonary blood vessels, particularly the pulmonary capillaries, get dilated abnormally. Now, what is happening? You know the basic structure that there is a alveoli, and alveoli are wrapped up or surrounded by the pulmonary capillaries for this gaseous exchange. Now, as these alveolar capillaries are getting dilated, what's happening? That more amount of blood is coming through these alveolar capillaries. So, perfusion is increasing, but the amount of air which is coming into the alveoli for gaseous exchange, that remains the same. So, ventilation remains the same, but perfusion increases. That causes ventilation-perfusion mismatch. And as a result of this ventilation-perfusion mismatch, there is arterial hypoxia. That means there is a decreased oxygenation of the blood vessels. Okay. And this arterial hypoxemia is the key problem in the pulmonary hepatopulmonary syndrome. So, as in the summary, due to abnormal vasodilation, the pulmonary capillaries, there are too much amount of blood is coming, and that is resulting in the ventilation perfusion mismatch, and that is a key problem in the hepatopulmonary syndrome.